Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the pandas factorize method. This is a serious method, but before I show you the documentation, I wanna motivate it with an example. And so let's get started. If we look at this data frame here, this is a table rendering of the first several elements of the periodic table. And we can see we have our element, hydrogen, helium, lithium, the atomic symbol, number, and then the category. And let's say we wanted to build a model or some sort of data visualization based off of this category column is not very efficient, especially if this table were much larger, to carry around these string or object data types here, when perhaps all that matters is the fact that these are unique values where we have non-metal and we just care everywhere we see non-metal, let's encode that as some number, as integers and floats are significantly more efficient than string and objects. And so to do this, we can use the Panda series factorize method, which allows us to encode these objects as an enumerated type, as a number, and this allows us to keep the unique values, but they're no longer stored as strings. I should state that you need to have at least Pandas version 1.5. Um, I've had a few comments on earlier videos where the versions didn't match and sometimes the code does not work. For these videos, I am using Pandas 2.2. So if that matters, there are some methods that are, that are available in, in later versions. So just keep that in mind. The output of this factorize method is twofold. We have our code, so these would be the integers, and we have our unique values, and I'll show you how we can leverage both of those in the notebook. And so let's select our category column, and you see here we have our category, and you factorize it, we just run the factorize method. And we run this, we have our, our output, which is first the array of codes, and then our index values, our unique values there. And so to unpack this, we could just use the zero index value for our arrays and the one index value for our index. We could also just store these as two separate variables and they'll, they'll be unpacked automatically. And so in this case, if we wanted to ensure we could decode this information, we could take this here and enumerate it. So we get this output here, but we really want a dictionary. And so now we have our dictionary where if we go back to this code here, everywhere we see a zero, we have a non-metal. And then one, two, three, and four would be noble gas, alkali metal, alkaline earth metal, respectively. And you can see how this works. To verify, we can look at our data frame and see that hydrogen is a non-metal and it is factorized as a zero. And in fact, we can add this to our data frame. So if we just call this cat factor and we will store this data here in our data frame and then render that data frame you can see here how we have our values here so if we were to say build a model this could be a highly efficient model input if we were doing some sort of random forest or other decision making algorithm as well as data visualization if we want to just show the differences in these various categories this is one way that we can render that information. I hope this video was helpful. In any case, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.